You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Oh, he's, 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 he's already been successful. It's Duck Shell. Right. And, and he was so, shocked. So right. And you can thing. see how you can be successful, but mm-hmm. not... What I, I want you not just to be successful. I want you to feel secure, in control, and powerful. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yep. And by knowing the, this thing, okay, and these kinds of things, that's what will make you um, in control and powerful. That's that's you'll walk in the room like you know something. You ever you ever see you know how, how does a Donald Trump walk into the room like he knows something? You know whether you like him or not doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. He walks in like he knows something that you don't know. Mm-hmm. What he, he knows he knows what he's selling. Time <laughs> he knows his, yeah. th- these kinds of things. And okay. He knows his worth right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. And so yep. you can too. And that's the fun, guys. That is okay. The fun. That's the freedom. Mm-hmm. That's what we're all about here. Freedom. All right. So freedom. you're going to figure out all your time, not just the time on the job. Right. Okay, but guys, while while you're working on this stuff back mm-hmm. back in the office, right? Okay, while while you're um, having to clean the truck, I mean, you have so many hours, okay, that mm-hmm. that your company has to sell. Mm-hmm. Okay, you do you have so many hours? Okay, mm-hmm. all right. It's, it's not, not about, about the plumbing. The plumbing. Shell. Okay, I it's nothing Shell. about the plumbing. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds well. What or plumbing? No, no, you're well, not. Well, no, you're not. Okay. <laughs> You're making <laughs> money, okay? It just so happens we're doing it by plumbing, right. okay? Right. And so it's it's not about plumbing, Mm-mm. all right? It's not Expenses about plumbing. divided by all your time, all and then what time. that's going to give you, mm-hmm. okay? All right, it's going to give you her, 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 Aww, that's so the nice. other woman, okay? No, that's <laughs> okay. no, all right, all right. Your Mm-mm. hourly, okay? Your your hourly expense rate. Expensive. Okay, what it costs you an hour to operate. Uh, Frugio just said it was about 160 bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. That, that's what it was costing him to operate, but that's what he was charging. Mm-hmm. So that means every hour, whether you're on a job or not, mm-hmm. okay? Yep. Matt uh, Carter, being very transparent, his hourly rate went from 90 to 244 thanks to Richard and his honest hourly rate calculator. And um, Matt, I think you would admit that um, you didn't like lose all your customers. They didn't say, "Forget it, I'm never using Carter Plumbing again," right? Nope. There, more than likely, wasn't a hiccup here at all. Okay, the time. all right. Mm-hmm. And Thanks, so, Matt. Thank you, Matt. So Appreciate it gives it. you the um, you get this. This is going to give you your your hourly expense rate. What it costs you an hour. And I do this. I think people get so mad because <laughs> mm-hmm. time is just ticking. It don't stop. Mm-hmm. So whether you're sitting there, whether you're selling anything, whether you're doing anything or not, it's costing Frugio um, $160 an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I was, I was, uh, I found out I was charging back in the day when I did this $125 an hour. Right. And I thought, man, I was at least pushing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Turns out it was costing me $145 an hour. (laughs) Oh, don't. Don't. What does okay. uh, Homer yeah. say? Right. Mm-hmm. So that's why, you know, and so you get the big job and you get some cash in and you pay some things off, but Feeling you never can good. stay ahead. Mm-hmm. It's that, that's why. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Most people's hourly rate okay. is are way, way too low. Too okay. Low. Definitely. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so true. that's going to give you your, okay, hourly expense rate. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. Then with that, okay. Mm-hmm. And that's an important number to know. Okay. Okay. Your that's her. a very important number to know. Okay. No You're going to take that. Her. Okay, okay, and you're mm-hmm. going to divide it by oh, more math. Okay, more math. the profit that you want to make. Mm-hmm. Okay, so mm-hmm. let me explain it. So you want to you're going to divide it by the inverse. So if you want to make ten percent profit, which is not enough, by the way. Okay, and we okay. have some questions from the audience wanting okay. um, some clarification. Just so okay, you know, I'll get so back. We'll, we'll go back. Okay. To, I'll say that. So Rodney, you, you can divide by you can, okay. you can divide by by the by the inverse. So mm-hmm. if you you want a ten percent profit profit, you're gonna divide by 90%. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's how the math works. Okay. Okay, what are, the, what are some questions here? Is sure. it back over here? Um, yeah, hang on one second. Uh, let's see. Here we go, Dustin has a question. Dustin says, do you base it off of eight hours? Mm. Good, Dustin. <laughs> good, Dustin, good question, Dustin. Okay, you wanna figure, you want to figure this is this is a good one, okay? And this is, give, me, give me some more freebies here. Okay, and this is Robbie. Also, kind of explain time, um, explain the and oh, explain time and explain the value. Okay. Um, okay. There you, you go. Okay, mm-hmm. you want to figure your time. Imagine if you were standing in front of a judge. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you had to explain um, why why you're coming up with time. Okay, with the time that you're saying you're charging. Mm-hmm. Okay. So in a court of law, certainly in the U.S. court of law, 
all right, there's precedent, and then there's what's um, there's a social, what's kind of happening socially right. that this kind like of the norm. The, what's the norm? Mm-hmm. Okay, so right. when you want to look at the hours, um, this is a place where you want to do that, and you want to you instead of being uh, you want to stay conservative. Okay, mm-hmm. now you may be saying I work twenty four seven. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, nor, nor do you want to figure all your hours ba- based on that. Okay, right. mm-hmm. how you want to do is figure out. You know who? Um, I'm sorry. Who asked about? Is it eight hours? Um, is it, yep. Uh, who Dustin? Yeah. Is Dustin. It based off of eight hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and that that's a very good question mm-hmm. because if you had to stand in front of a judge and you figure out how many hours you work in a day, what's a common work work hour in work in, in the U.S.? Yeah. Eight hours. Eight hours a day, right? right? Mm-hmm. Forty hours a week. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so you're going to stay on the common side. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not working. Uh, you you may you may be working holidays, which I don't suggest, by the way. Suggest. You may be working holidays, but most most people in our society do not work holidays. Mm-hmm. So what what holidays are there? Mm-hmm. You know, you got to figure out how many holidays there are. Right. By the way, the six. What are the what would be the, the government the states, government right. accepted holidays that right. most people get off on? Mm-hmm. I know some people that like banks got off on President's Day or whatever. Right. Most people didn't. Most most everyone else worked. Yep. Well, what's what's common to mm-hmm. the society? If you had to defend why you came up with what you came up, mm-hmm. okay. Okay. And so you're gonna and so you're gonna take those numbers and yes. multiply them um, by. Uh, well, you're gonna give ho- you're gonna have guys on vacation. Right. What's the common amount of vacation starting out? A week. A year. A week. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, what's uh, there's also now which is new. Um, back in the day when we first started, it wasn't so much part of a society, but now. You get sick days. You know, I just don't feel like working days. Okay. All right. I think they should call them snowflake days. Snowflake days. Okay. All right. That now we're expected is just kind of getting more whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Um, you know, so that may be another five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so you're taking all you know, those kinds of numbers times mm-hmm. the amount of trucks. Each truck, all right, creates time, right? right. Each truck is time. It's time to sell. Right. All right. Chad so, has a question. So if you're starting um, out with two trucks, right. you're going to take that and multiply it by two trucks. Mm-hmm. Chad has a question. Chad Peters. Um, Chad, let us know where you're out of. Um, so you base it off of a month of expenses and hours? Annually. Both mm-hmm. annually. Yep. Okay. Yep. Annually. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, this is some good stuff, baby. You're by by the way, you'll, you'll see why, um, why um, a lot of times guys think, well, I can't charge what they charge, those big companies charge, because I'm not as big as they are. Right. You do this. Try plugging in 30 trucks times your expenses. Maybe add a little bit because expenses don't grow exponentially. Right. Okay. They don't, you know, they don't grow as fast as what, you know, the time that more right. trucks will provide mm-hmm. you. They'll level off. What you'll see is a big company can operate less than what you can operate having two trucks. Because the more trucks you have, the more um, the expenses can be spread amongst the other trucks, right? Among the trucks, mm-hmm. more time to sell, right? Right. Just like okay, that. but you will never lower your price. So as you figure never. this up, you never lower your price. Never. Never. Mm-hmm. Okay, hey, so um, my, mine was figured yeah. originally, I think, with three trucks, and I never, I never lowered it. I wound mm-hmm. up raising it, raising it, okay? Um, mm-hmm. But you never lower your price. Right, yep. Hey, um, Alan says it costs us $75 to get our van in front of a home before we bill a single dollar. I would challenge you, Alan. I'll bet it's more than that. I'm sure it's more than that. Yeah. Even if it's just you and a van, mm-hmm. it's more than that. It's more than that. Yep. Okay. Alan, if you, you figure in all your expenses, academy, you should be. Okay. Right. Alan, mm-hmm. get in a success academy. Get There's a, a free trial. Academy. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it is. And I think that's a good time to say it. it's a free trial, and you've got the actual honest hourly rate calculator right. in the very first module of the success academy that walks you through. Um, how to figure the the time, the expenses, the the growth, the profit, all those things. Um, you can just type. What is it? What are we typing? Success, right? Right. Success, Type success. in the comments. Or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. And learn all that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're back.